Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my homemade banana fritters. So let's get started. In my bowl, I smashed three ripe bananas, one cup of Bisquick, to a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, to three fourths cup of milk, mixed it all together until it's well combined. Now I'll place some oil in a pan on my stove, drop it by spoonfuls, drain off the excess oil on a paper towel, and then roll it in powdered sugar, and boy are they good. I place some oil in my pan. I have my burner on medium. I'll wait for my oil to heat up and then I'll drop my banana fritters by spoonfuls. Brown it on both sides, drain the excess grease off. I drop by the spoonfuls now and I'm waiting for them to come to the surface. You can see this one's floating. You wanna brown them on both sides. And I dropped it just by a tablespoon. They're ready to come out of the pot and drain them on the paper towel to get rid of the excess grease. I drop some more in. I'll flip these over. You can see they float right up to the top. That's when I'll take it and flip it over. I have these cooling before I place the powdered sugar on top. They look good. They're ready to come out. Drain the oil off. So I'll let this batch cool before I put powdered sugar on them. I put a little powdered sugar in my bowl. You could also put some powdered sugar in a bag and then place them in a bag and shake it. And it'll get the powdered sugar on everything. So that's an easier way to do it too. I have some coolant on this plate. So now I'll take them, put them in the powdered sugar. And there's my banana fritters. So now I'll take one and give it a try. Mmm, really, really good. Mm -mm -mm. They're really, really good. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watching me make my homemade banana fritters. They're really good. Enjoy.